Hi guys, welcome back to Garrisec. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an oil change on this Audi A1. So it's a 1.4 uh, TFSI. Uh, it's a 2015 model year. So it's quite straightforward. Obviously you've got your oil cap at the top here and your dipstick. The oil filter is down underneath here. It's just right down at the bottom. So you are gonna need to um, jack the car up. So I've jacked the car up on my uh, quick lift stands. I've just got the wheels off because I'm doing brake pads as well. There's another video for that. Once we've got it jacked up, we can get underneath to um, the under tray. So I've got an under tray here, which I'm going to have to um, release. So there's a couple of Torx uh, 25 screws that go all the way around underneath. So there's quite a few of those. So I'll unscrew those and we can get to the sump and the oil filter. So I'll try and put you up and you can uh, watch me run through this. So you do these. Quite straightforward. I'll just whiz through this. So that's the um, under tray out of the way. Quite a number of screws, as you can see. It's quite simple to take down. <coughs> Now we've got the under tray out of the way, you can see the oil filter is just there, nice and simple to get to. And if we look under here, the sump plug is then there. So it's a 19 mil spanner. So I'm just gonna put an oil drain pan underneath here so I can drain the oil out and then take the oil filter off. So I'm just gonna pop you up over here. You can watch. That was my oil plug. I've got a new one, so it's always good to replace it. Make sure you've got a new washer as well. So this is my new sump plug. Genuine one from a Audi dealership. So you'll see it's got the new squash washer on there so once you've tightened this up don't uh, undo it and do it back up again because you could get a leak okay these are around about 25 to 30 newton meters if you're not sure about the tightening torque um but it is just literally nipped up and this is my uh, oil filter Um, what you need to do is just put a little film of oil around there before you put it on and if you want as well it's good practice to actually top this up with a bit of oil as well sometimes it's quite tricky because you fill it out of oil and then by the time you get it up and try and filter it on some of the oil will actually spill out again so um, if you are particularly worried about that you can fill it up with oil before you put it on but yeah put a bit of film of oil on there just check up where the oil filter actually is to make sure that the old seal hasn't stayed on there because if you, the old seal is still on there and you put this one on, it will most certainly leak. So just be careful of that. Now to actually take the oil filter off, you can use some form of oil filter wrench. But I tend to use just a pair of big grips like this. And I'll show you that in a moment once we've put the sump plug back in. Okay, so now that sump back in with the oil filter, as I said, I'll use a pair of these big grips. Don't need to squeeze it mega tight, just enough to grip it, and then just twist it off. It says.
it shouldn't really be any more than hand tight. Obviously, once it's been on there a year or so, it'll feel a bit tighter. What I do is just lift it up at the top end just to help the oil drain out nice and smooth. So I'll let it drop. And slowly let the oil run out. Checking to make sure that the seal is still on there. Which it is. And then what I'll do is I'll just put a film with a little bit of the oil around the new one. So I'll just put a little bit of oil around the new seal there. And it's easy enough to just to screw on. And you only need to tighten it up by hand. That's it, that's tight enough. So I'm just gonna get a rag, wipe that down. Got a rag to clean it up. I could get rid of my oil drain pan. I just double check, checked my sump plug, double checked my oil filter nice and tight, and uh, now I'm ready to put the under tray back up. So, quite nice and simple. Just got these little uh, kind of bits here which tuck under. Uh, alternatively so it's lined into place I'll get the screw at the back in first Apologies if my head is in the way. Okay, so that's all of the screws back in the under tray. Next I can uh, top up the oil. So I'm gonna top up the oil from here. So depending on what oil uh, bottle you've got, I've got uh, in the UK, if you buy it from genuine uh, retailers, they come like this. So this is the Long Life uh, 3, it's 530 oil. So this is what they use in the UK, that's their genuine oil. So a bit of a strange um, bottle, but watch that, lift. Sometimes if your cap's a bit stiff, you might need to use a pair of pliers to help twist it off. This one's quite tight. Just because it's quite tricky to pour this bottle, it's going to use this funnel here. It's nothing uh, too uh, crazy. It's just literally an old bottle. Just took the top off. You've still got to go quite slow. Just watching at the bottom to make sure it's not overfilling out the neck. Okay, 
Now, because I've got no guidelines really on the side to see how much oil I've actually put in, I'm gonna have to uh, intermittently just pull the dipstick and check it, just to see roughly how much oil I've got. This will probably be about three and a half uh, liters of oil, I would imagine. There's nothing even on there yet, so plenty more to go. Check again. Again a bit now. nearly there these dipsticks are nice, quite nice and clear so it's easy to see where the top is so the top bit is where that top kind of dotted line stops okay so that's the maximum obviously where that dotted line is at the bottom is the minimum Now don't forget, obviously, I need to allow for the oil filter to actually get some oil in it as well. about at that max now. So I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit more. And then what we can do then is start the engine up and check it again. Don't forget to put your oil cap back on. Now we're just gonna start it up and run the engine for 30 to 40 seconds. Not a huge amount of time, it's just enough to get the oil circulating around the system. And then we can recheck. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that the um, engine can sit for about a minute, just so it can naturally drain down. We'll see, when you're checking your oil level now, make sure it's on a flat uh, surface. Just give it a nice wipe. Okay, so that should be enough now. So I'll just pull it out and I'll wipe it first. So you can see, I need to top up. Oops, lost the focus. Just needs a little bit more. So I'm only going a little bit at a time now because it can be quite easy to just um, overfill it. still see I just need a little bit more now what I'm doing is I'm just holding the dipstick on the side 
because if I hold it up, then obviously the oil is going to run down the dipstick. So that's not going to give you an accurate reading. And obviously, so you can hold it up like that. I'm just uh, trying to hold it for you guys so you can see better. So I just need still a little bit more. Doing 100 to 200 mil kind of at a time. So there we go, we're pretty much spot on now, where we need to be. So it's a bit jittery, let's hold it a bit further down this end. Spot on. Okay. Then I'll just put the cap back. It's quite tight sometimes. Just gonna make sure it's dipped in properly. This one was a bit tight, so just need a pair of pliers to get it back. I like to make sure it's in the right position. Give that a wipe. Okay, so next thing to do then is obviously reset the service light. So I'll do another video for that. Uh, check it out. I'll put the uh, link in the description, etc., and on one of the other pages. So that's it then. So that's the oil change done. Obviously, whilst I'm here, I'm also going to just top up my uh, screen wash here. I'll just check my coolant level. Just top that with a little bit of water. Put it back to the max, and I'll check my brake fluid. And also just be checking some other bits and pieces like the battery, etc. Whilst I've got the bonnet up, and just make sure there's no can't see any obvious leaks or cracks on the fan belt or um, serpentine belt uh, down there. So that's it then, guys. That's how you change the oil on this Audi A1. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like these videos, hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and put the comments below. Cool. Take care.